Shells of the Phanerozoic Eon Analyzed. The title of our chosen study is Changes in Shell Durability of Common Marine Taxa Through the Phanerozoic, Evidence for Biological Rather than Taphonomic Drivers. The purpose of this study was to determine how shell and life habit traits determine the post-mortem durability of organisms' shells by examining the taphonomy of the burial site. Taphonomy is the process of burial, decay, and preservation that affect animal and plant remains as they become fossilized. In order to do this, 48 separate intervals throughout the Phanerozoic, each about 11 million years in duration, were studied. The Phanerozoic eon includes the eras of the Paleozoic, known as the time of ancient animal life, the Mesozoic, known as the time of middle animal life, the age of dinosaurs, and lastly, the Cenozoic era. Collectively, the Phanerozoic eon includes the last 542 million years. Three common genera were looked at, which included brachiopods, gastropods, and bivalves. The brachiopod studied includes benthic macroinvertebrates and filter feeders. The gastropod genera, also known as the belly-footed organisms, consist of shell-bearing organisms such as snails. And finally, the bivalve genera, which includes filter feeders and invertebrate phylum mollusks that have calcium carbonate shells, which include organisms such as clams and scallops. The bivalve organisms looked at in this study were specifically from freshwater sources. The most commonly found fossils for each genera were scored for intrinsic, intrinsic durability regarding the shell size, reinforcement, specifically ribs, folds, and spines, life habit, and mineralogy of the fossil. These four characteristics were then compared to determine the effect of the organism's life habits on how well their shells were able to be preserved in the fossil record. The hypothesis to this study was determining whether external taphonomic effects or evolutionary patterns of individual marine organisms, such as brachiopods, gastropods, and bivalves, led to better preservation of these organisms in the fossil record, focusing on the timescale of the post-Paleozoic era and the rest of the Phanerozoic eon. The methods used to get information on the taxa involved was retrieved by using the paleobiology database to retrieve the durability data set, which consists of factors that indicate shell pre preservation, such as the shell reinforcements, being ribs, folds, or spines, shell mineralogy, life habitats of the taxa being infaunal, epifaunal, or semifaunal, and the occurrence data set for each taxon, which is just the highest occurrence of a genera from each taxon. When analyzing the data, the scientists had split the Phanerozoic into 11 million year time bins, in which they then took the durability data on the occurrence set on each taxa. The breakdown of how they measured the shell durability and mineralogy was based on the occurrence set. In the Paleozoic, brachiopods had shells of aragonite to calcite shells, present to prominent reinforcement, some were infaunal or, ep or overall epifaunal. Bivalves had shells of aragonite to bimineralic, absent to present reinforcement, overall epifaunal, and some were infaunal or semifaunal. Gastropods had shells of aragonite to bimineralic that had absent to present reinforcement and were overall epifaunal, while minimal were semifaunal. During the Mesozoic, brachiopods had shells of calcite that had absent to present reinforcement and were overall epifaunal, while some infaunal. Gastropods had shells of bimineralic that absent to present reinforcement, overall epifaunal, and some semifaunal. Bivalves had shells of aragonite and bimineralic and even some calcite. They had absent to present reinforcement and overall epifaunal, while some infaunal and semifaunal. During the Cenozoic, brachiopods had shells of aragonite and calcite. They had absent reinforcement overall epifaunal, and some infaunal. Gastropods had shells of aragonite to bimineralic that absent to present shell reinforcement and were overall epifaunal, while some infaunal. Bivalves had shells of aragonite, bimineralic, and calcite that absent to present uh, reinforcement and were overall epifaunal, and some infaunal and semifaunal. Each group shows independent changes in shell size, life habit, and shell mineralogy through the Phanerozoic. Extensive research has led to the finding that genus occurrence frequency cannot be determined by shell durability traits. Researchers cannot say that the taphonic, taphonomic drivers determine a shift in the shell durability of the taxa. They can only clearly state, based on their findings, that the changes in the shell durability is due to independent patterns of each taxa and how and when their shells soften or harden. So what do the results imply? 
The results imply that there needs to be more research similar to this done on more marine taxa to see if environmental changes can reduce or even increase the probability of an organism to be well preserved in the fossil record. It also implies that the researchers concluded that their data of the shell mineralogy of the taxa did not completely follow the Mesozoic marine revolution, which is defined as increased reinforcement in the late Mesozoic and early Cenozoic coinciding with the evolution of major marine predatory groups. Overall, researchers concluded that for each organism group, brachiopods, bivalves, and gastropods, shell durability is positively correlated with number of genera in time bin. However, the traits of durability showed different temporal patterns across higher taxa. There does not seem to be a set time for how and when the durability of shells harden or soften. The article only ruled out changes due to taphonomic drivers. The article concludes that multiple smaller taphonomic biases could have caused the shift in shell durability. The researchers could have gone into what these smaller biases could be. Future research could look into this in order to conclusively account for the shifts in shell durability.